What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 6 of our Halo 4 Lasso Run. This is the mission shutdown. We're going to start off by heading towards this pelican and you want to exchange one of your weapons for the DMR on the side and then we're going to go around the other side and grab more DMR ammo. So we should have a full DMR at this point. It doesn't matter which starting weapon you decide to keep, we're going to switch it out for a light rifle soon anyway. Hop in the pelican and then I'll skip ahead here. We're going to bust out of the infinity here in our pelican and we're going to skip the majority of the mission right in the beginning here. We're going to, instead of flying to one of the two nav points that you're presented, we just fly straight ahead. You could shoot your chain gun and see whatever tower it hits. That's the tower we actually want to aim for. So we're going to turn a little more to the right so we aim at the part of the tower that we want to go into. As you get closer, you can see there's some glowing red-orange lights in there. That's where we want to go. And I'll skip ahead a little bit here. We're just flying straight at this tower right where I'm shooting. And as you approach it, you want to slow down because you could actually take some damage if you just kind of crash into it. So slow yourself down. Take it nice and easy. We'll kind of turn into the left here. And there's actually two separate buttons that control raising and lowering your pelican. So find out what those are so you can more easily uh, go up and down here. That's the only way you'll be able to do it, actually. So we're going to just lower ourselves slowly down to this platform. You can see this is where the tower kind of unfolds and lets us in. But obviously it's not doing that for us right now because we skipped the first two towers. But you can see there's a giant gap in the wall right here anyway. So just go right through that with your jetpack. Go through these doors, head up the gravity lift, and then we will get into this room where we're actually going to start fighting some enemies. Make sure you have your DMR out. We're going to pick off a bunch of grunts in this area and some jackals with some headshots we're just going to kind of go over this ramp slowly until we could see some grunts there's uh three or four grunts towards the right side over here to begin with and we're going to take those guys out you can see in the distance there is a grunt on a turret so make sure you take that one out make sure you look to the left as well because there's another turret over there so take that guy out you want to aim to the left or the right you can see there's kind of a small piece of uh covenant energy shielding that kind of protects the head of the gunner if it's a grunt uh, so you want to kind of aim to the left or right of that so you could actually land that headshot. But we're going to move up now and there's a light rifle crate right here. So exchange your other weapon for the light rifle. We have a light rifle now and a DMR. We're going to back up and we're going to continue taking out these enemies. There's grunts and jackals on both sides. So as soon as you see somebody that you could take out, just pick them off. And there's also two elites, one on each side. So we're going to take those guys out by waiting for them to get on the turret. Even though we took out the gunners that were on the turret, the turret is still there and they actually act as bait. Grunts and elites love to get on empty turrets if they're nearby. So it's kind of a trap for them. It's really easy to pick them off when they're just standing there. So it's kind of advantageous for us to allow them to get on the turret. Now we can see on the right side that an elite has finally decided to hop on the turret. So that's exactly what we want because we're going to take him out with a light rifle so back up the ramp so you can see we're using that for cover and then we're going to just lay into this guy uh, just kind of position yourself so you could barely see his head so he can't really shoot you but you could shoot him and it should take a little less than two magazines worth of light rifle ammo just lay into him he won't move he'll just stand there and take it and then we could finish him off with a headshot we'll do the same thing on the left side there's going to be another elite over there like i mentioned and as soon as we could clear the uh turret there and get him to get on that turret we'll be able to do the same exact thing that we did for the first one. So we're just going to clean up all the smaller enemies as we wait for that elite to hop onto that turret. Now the second elite is hopping onto the turret on the left as promised. So we're going to head back, retreat to the position that we are nice and safe in right here, back behind the ramp. And we're going to just kind of position ourselves like so, where we could barely see his head. We'll just shoot over the ramp here and just lay into him with the light rifle. And this is pretty much the end of the use of the light rifle. You could still continue to use it. It's really good at uh, headshotting grunts. And on top of that, it also is really good at taking out jackals because, as you know, the pistol and the carbine do not knock the jackal back and get him to expose his head, but the light rifle and DMR do. So we're going to walk up and grab more light rifle ammo in case we need it. I'm just going to use the DMR from here on out. We're just going to kind of stay back, take it nice and slow. There are still a bunch of jackals and grunts in the area, so watch out for those guys. Just kind of go around these corners slowly and uh, just check your corners. Pick all these guys off with headshots. You don't want to be taken unawares by a stray plasma pistol burst because you're not paying attention. It's easy to get kind of uh, sandwiched in between groups of enemies because obviously you could take a left or a right at this point and this whole section really starts out with you being sandwiched a little bit. Uh, so we want to make sure that we kind of keep all the enemies in front of us and don't, uh, you know, get surrounded. So we're going to move forward now and we'll be able to get our shield back uh, later. I'm going to save one grunt so I could smack them to get shield back before we uh, move forward. So take out all the enemies at this point that you could see, but just make sure that you leave one grunt with a plasma pistol. You don't want to grunt with a needler because needlers are a lot more likely to kill you uh, when you try to get up close and smack them to death. It takes four smacks to kill a grunt and also a jackal too, but obviously you might uh, land a few smacks on the jackal's shield so that won't count towards damaging the actual jackal's health, obviously. So we want to get one grunt left with a plasma pistol because you can take a lot more shots from a plasma pistol than that needler. 
You should have enough ammo with the light rifle and DMR to take out all the enemies in this room, but if you run out for some reason, there is a carbine crate behind me, which I'm actually going to use uh, shortly to exchange my almost empty light rifle for a carbine. So just be aware of the fact that with the carbine, you can't actually kick back the jackal and get him to expose his head. You'll just have to kind of wait behind cover and then get him to put his shield down and then kind of poke your head out and shoot him before he puts his shield back up like we've done in previous uh, missions. So we have one grunt left at this point. I'm going to move forward, kind of use cover to close the distance without him being able to see me. And then remember, we have to smack him four times to take him out here, unless you're able to get behind him and back smack him for the one hit kill, obviously. At this point, the next platform will have one fuel rod wielding elite and two grunts. So we're going to poke our head out and try to take out those grunts as quickly as we can. So we could kind of uh, just whittle it down to the one elite we have to deal with. We're going to head over towards the left over here and approach from this angle via this gravity lift or man cannon, however you want to look at it. Uh, so we're just going to uh, wait for him to not be looking at us pretty much. We want him to be more towards that bridge on the right, which he's walking towards now. So now that he doesn't have a good shot at us, we could just launch ourselves over here. And then you want to run towards him as quickly as possible. And that will get him to not shoot at you. And you could wrap up around behind him and back smack him. And that's an easy battle with the full shield we got. Because even if we aren't able to quickly back smack him for the one hit kill, we could just keep circling around him while we trade punches until he finally goes down. I traded my DMR for his fuel rod. So now we're going back to this platform that had the carbine crate because it also has a fuel rod crate. So go over here. And we're going to fill up on this fuel rod. We'll have 20 shots with this thing. And I have a full carbine as well at this point. I'm going to skip ahead towards that platform that we were on that we killed the elite at. And we're going to poke our heads around the corner to this next one. And there's going to be some explosive ordnance over on the left. So I'm going to just shoot that with a couple fuel rods so it doesn't blow up while I'm nearby. Head to the left side when you get to this platform. And a lot of the times that first hunter will back up to the edge. And then you can just shoot a bunch of fuel rods at him that will blast him over the edge. And now we could just deal with one hunter instead of two hunters. So we want to do essentially the same thing get him to the edge and we could sometimes trick him to fall off on his own or we could just blast him off like we did for the first one but you want to make sure that you have a full shield before killing this last hunter so you could see you could actually just kind of run up to him and he'll try to smack you you could jump over him and then quickly turn around and smack him in the back and then just kind of run away before he turns around and hits you again so just if you take any damage make sure you get your shield back so we have a full shield going into the next section kind of tease him and bait him to follow you he'll try to smack you but stay outside of his reach and you can go towards the edge then we could wrap around and blast him off the edge like we did for his buddy this lift will activate we'll head into this we'll reach the top and there's going to be an elite on the opposite side of this bridge here so we want to sprint at him he will start chucking grenades and he might decide to smack you so that's why you want to have a full shield at that point so you could wrap up around behind him kill the grunt in that turret hop in this banshee and then we're going to head in this direction follow this path at this point i cut into the right and i like to go under this platform here because i find it gives you a checkpoint and it offers good cover. If you just go straight to the end, a lot of times you take more damage. But I find doing a lap under this platform gets you a checkpoint and also loses the Banshees that may be following you. This time, I actually took a Banshee Bomb, but most of the time the Banshees leave you more alone if you do that little lap under that platform I found. Get to this point, get out of the Banshee, and then you want to drop down to the lower level as close to the door as possible. So then you could sprint in immediately and then immediately jetpack up once you're through the door. That will actually get the enemies to stop shooting at you because they can't see you. They don't have a good angle on you if you're up in the air like this. So they can't see you anymore. The door will close behind you so you're now safe put cortana into this pedestal there will be a bunch of scripted dialogue and then eventually the floor will start lowering down and that will allow you to get outside and then you just walk off the platform straight ahead of you and that will trigger the cutscene. and that is the end of this mission a short one this time around as promised the next one will be a little beefier that one is composer i will see you there Thanks for watching guys, if you found that video helpful be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides and I'll see you in the next one.